Hello everybody and welcome to another car exposed video. This video is the last video from my BMW 118i 2007. Uh, the problem that I'm having is this. As you can see there, I've got a warning for the fuel because I'm running low on fuel. And I've got a high beam warning and a lower beam warning. But if I turn the lights on, put the high beam on as well, you can actually see that they are working. And I know it's the right hand side high beam, so that one there, and the lower beam for the, for the left, which is that one. As you can see, it's all working. Uh, obviously, if you have a scanner, it's really easy to, to check which, you, which bulb it is, or if you actually have any bulbs out, it's pretty easy. But I'm gonna show you another way uh, that you can do that without a scanner. So, stay there, see you in a minute. So first of all, you have to insert the key in, press start, <coughs> excuse me, and then obviously you have the warning there for the lights again, and then you have this little switch here, up or down, so if you keep scrolling, you get to check, press BC, so you have the fuel and the lights warning there again, pressing hold BC, And there we go, it gives you the default code. For the lower beam is CCIG88. And for the high, high beam CCIG130. So you get to the computer, we're gonna get to the computer now and I'll show you. Okay guys, so to check the for the fault codes without a scanner, it's pretty easy. We had two fault codes there, which CCIG130. So I'm gonna Google one of them. This website here and tuning is pretty good. So if you scroll down, you have all the fault codes there. We had a two fault codes for the foot footwell module. Uh, so let's get to that. Oh, there you go. So footwell module there. We had a fault 88, which is the dipped being left failure, which I already knew because I scanned the car. Uh, and 130 which is the right high beam failure so that that's how you can check for any warning that you have on the, on the dash uh, without a scanner obviously uh, normally with the light bulbs you have a warning for the light bulbs and you gotta check the car you're gonna find it but in my case it is a really unusual case because all the lights are working and I've got the warning on, a, on, on the cluster so that's it, that's a really easy, that's how you can check. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and let's get back to the car. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna check the connections at, at the light bulb. I actually had a shout out from uh, Luis from uh, LMO to repairs. Uh, I know this side, the right hand side is the connection at the, the high beam one. And it actually looks pretty clean. I know the bulb is new because I've replaced it before thinking it was uh, some sort of problem with the, the bulb. But let me show you this. It's really nice and clean. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna check for, for resistance and continuity on a big, on that big connector there, which is the main one for the lights. Ah, oh, there we go. Any damage? No.
Okay, looks good. My next tech, I'm actually gonna connect the bulb again. And I'm gonna back, back probe that connection to see if there's any problem inside the connector that I, you know, I can, I can actually see. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Just give me a second. What I wanna do now, I'm gonna check the integrity of this connection here at the plug. So I know the pins for, for the high beam is a white and blue wire and the brown brown and blue so we're gonna, we're gonna connect it up Con connect the bulb again as well so I'm basically checking the connection between uh, here this plug going through the bulb um, to see if, if we have any any problem any continuity and resistance uh, is that set? No. my multimeter wasn't ready uh, I seem to have a good connection <coughs> so literally no resistance as you can see there and I, you can probably hear the beep there. So if I disconnect the bulb, there we go, that should go away. So we've got a good connection here. Um, so what should I do next? Probably what I'm gonna do next, which is probably some, um, a resistance problem in the wiring. That's what I think it is. Um, when Louis sent me a text, um, he was saying that obviously the voltage for for the lights turn on is a lot higher than uh, the voltage for the check. So when the module checks the the light bulb, it sends a, a smaller voltage. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check every single wire from here back to the ECU. And if there's no uh, problem there for the wiring, the integrity of the wiring is good, I'm gonna have to blame the, the module. There's nothing else that I can blame. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Let me get everything ready and I'll see you in a bit. Right, I was getting everything set, set up and look what just turned up in the mail. Thanks very much, Louis from LM Auto Repairs. Uh, I really needed a coffee. Ooh nice so there we go that's what I've done here so I've got safety pin at the back of the the plug there uh, because my multimeter does, doesn't reach here so I've got another cable um, and also first of all I disconnected the battery so I've got the um, a ground terminal disconnected from the battery and what I want to know now is the integrity of this this cable running from the plug to the to the module? Right, let me get you here. I think that's good there. I already removed the the module. It was fixed in by these two plus uh, ten millimeter plastic nuts here. So there we go. And. Let's disconnect this connections here for the module. So I've got this little one here. That one first. Oh, I already had removed the the covers. Uh, there's two piece of covers here to get to the module. Uh, it's pretty easy to get it out so let me remove this covers for the connectors here there we go it's got two tabs at the top you just pull it away and then it slides out I'll do the next the other one as well come on man it's a bit not much 
much room to work with here. <clears throat> so there we go, the other one is lights out as well. Yes. And that's the module. Let me set the motor meter to continuity there. I've got that wire connected to the brown, brown and blue, I think, or brown and green. I think it's brown and green. Hold on a minute, let me check my, yeah, it's all good. Oh, there we go. I've got a good connection. Yeah, that cable is good. So I'm gonna, let me go and ch change to the other, to the other light wire, which is white and blue. It's gonna be really hard to do by one hand here, with one hand. Hold on guys. I think that's, that's good enough. So I've got uh, on the white and blue. I'm gonna plug again. So that was a white and blue plug. Oh, white and blue is at the top here. Cool. Not this one. See that one? Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, man. Sorry. There we go. White and blue. Ah, uh, there we go. No, no resistance. Really good cable again. So what I'm gonna do now, guys? I'm gonna check every single wire from that plug, and if there's no problem there, we're gonna have to look at this module. Okay, guys. So I've got the module here. Seems pretty simple to uh, to open up. Got five torque screw at the back. Uh, I've checked all the connections here. It seems to be in good shape. Uh, have no pins bent or or signs of rust. Um, the reason I'm gonna I'm gonna check this module is because I can't really blame anything else. You know, um, I checked all the wiring. All the wiring seems to check checked out okay. So all right, so let's remove these five screws here. Okay. Okay, so that's the module. Seems to be all good in the back. Well, I just gotta check all the pins, and uh, if I find something wrong with it, I'll, I'll put the camera on again. Okay, guys. So this side of the uh, the module here is absolutely fine. Um, can't find anything wrong with it at the back here. There's this protective coating here, which makes it a little bit more difficult. I checked all the pins for um, uh, continuity, and it's absolutely fine again. But now this side is a different story. I did manage to find something wrong. So again, it seems to be in good shape. You have that protective coating here again. But look at this. Can you see that? I hope you can see that, but 
I don't know if the pins are gone or not, but there's some sign of uh, sign of corrosion there. There's a little bit here as well on that little leg, no stew actually. Um, let me put the phone down. So it's basically this one here, that one, have a little bit of corrosion at the top here as well. And this one seems to be the, the one that is really, really corroded. <laughs> the rest is absolutely fine. Can't see anything wrong. Um, I can't really identify, I, I can't see the numbers because the coating on the top there, I can't really see it. Um, and the camera seems to be a little bit better to, to see it. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean that up. See if the connection is good. See if the the, the little leg is not um, corroded away, um, and put it back in the car. I guess. See what happens. Okay. So I cleaned it up. Clean that up, seems to be in a good shape. It's really hard to get in focus. There we go. Clean that up, seems to be in good shape. I don't know if that corrosion was shorting something. There is a signs as well of the, the protective coating kind of bubbling up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna dry this and put it back in the car. Let's see, see, see if it works, really. See that little leg there? Pretty much every single one. More there, more there. There's some at the back as well, here. So I got, I'm gonna finish clean everything and uh, yeah, put it back in the car just before I come back and show you that as well. Okay guys, so moments of the truth. I put the car, the kit in. Morning there, the door doesn't shut. Let's go to checks. I think I need to turn the engine on. Fuel, please light, don't come on. Whoa! Yes! Yes! only got the fuel and the time because I've disconnected the battery but no more warning for for the headlights wow Let's see I can turn it on and off wow that's brilliant there you go as you can see no more headlights uh, or light bulb warning oh my goodness me I'm so happy I, I literally went through every everything in this car. I mean, this car is, is just turned upside down. As you can see there, oh, you know, the glove compartment. I disconnected the module down there. Checked all the wiring from both headlights to the module. Um, and they all checked out, they all had good connection. I, I, I thought it could be the module, it can only be the module because you know all the other lights actually worked as well I didn't have any warning for the other lights when I disconnected them um, I didn't have the warning so everything was working fine the light was working and the warning for the uh, for the light bulb that it was gone it was it was on all the time 
Wow, I'm so happy. Really, really happy with it. Oh, absolutely incredible. Um, thanks very much uh, for watching, guys. I hope this uh, video helps someone out there. This, this is the last video from the BMW. I'm really, really shaft with it. I just got to get the, the fuse box um, fixed it back in place and then the module. Tidy up the battery connection uh, and the headlight covers and that is it, that is it. Um, I'm really, really happy. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like it. If you have a comment, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.